guys, if you're new here, welcome. And if you're a subscriber, well, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ella Gabriella, and if you clicked on this video, then you already know what we're going to talk about. We are going to talk about Gisu Hair Products by Nejin Mirsali. I hope I pronounced that right. If you don't know who Nejin is, I will put a picture of her here. She is absolutely stunning, and her hair is hair goals 100%. Nejin actually comes from a six generation, well, six generations of bee farmers, and she wanted to incorporate her honey into some of the products that she uses every single day. So these are honey infused hair oil, shampoo, conditioner, and a hair mask. I picked up this set during Sephora's holiday sale. I didn't see it available on the website anymore, um, but I did not check uh, Gisu's website to see if they had it there. For $10 more, I was actually able to pick up um, this whole set, which includes the shampoo, the conditioner, and the mask. So I get to try all of them for a small fraction of what one of them is. These honey infused hair care items are for all different types of hair, which I thought was kind of interesting because a lot of people have different hair and different textures and not all products work for them. So let's find out if it works for my hair. My hair is pretty long. It's medium thick, I would say, and it's really dry. It's shiny now because I'm on day three of a uh, straightening. So it really needs to be washed. And I'll show you how curly and wavy it is. And it, it's, it's like an auburn color, so it gets a little bit frizzy. Um, so I'm really excited to put the shine back into it with these products. I am going to do a double wash with the shampoo and then I'll put in the conditioner. Um, we'll see how it is. And if I need more moisture, I will throw that mask in there as well. So I'll give you an update on both of them. In case you guys wanted to know how these smell and what the smell is for them, I will go ahead and open the shampoo first. So... This smells pretty good. It's um, kind of citrusy, honey citrusy, I, I, I would say. And then the conditioner has a seal on it. So let me take that off. Okay, so this kind of has a similar fragrance to the hair perfume. It's floral powdery and there's honey in it so there's definitely like a powder theme going on the hair perfume is definitely powdery more powdery than the shampoo and the hair mask this one smells pretty good too so i would say that these two smell the best and the other ones smell a little too powdery for my liking and let's give the hair oil a smell um not super fragranted very light very sweet do smell the hints of honey tiny bit of floral but not as overpowering as the hair perfume so i'm i'm excited to try them after that we're going to be styling it with uh just some conventional products a regular blow dryer i'll put a, a nozzle on there um a wet brush and we're going to use a curling iron to try to recreate some of Nedjin's curls. Um, they're iconic, they're beautiful, and let's see what we can do. Okay guys, I'm back. I'm clean. I just threw any old t-shirt on because I'm be hanging out in the house. My hair is wrapped up in this Aquace hair towel that's made of microfiber, and it really gets all the water out. You can see a little bit of my hair texture now. In regards to the shampoo, the conditioner, and the mask. I was so, so, so surprised at the shampoo. There are no sulfates or parabens in all of the products, and it had a really nice lather. I did have to use quite a bit of product to clean my hair. Um, typically, I do a double cleanse. I did do a triple cleanse because I only used a little bit the first time, and then I had to add more, and then I was like, okay, this isn't enough. Let me go back in and do it. It is a little bit of a watery formula, so I did have to use quite a, a, a bit to get it to work. Um, I did put some conditioner on at the end, and I kind of, it wasn't thick enough, and 
To be fair, I always use a hair mask or a deep conditioning balm in my hair after I shampoo it because conditioners are just too watery of a formula for me. You can kind of see some of my natural texture right here. So I did use the hair mask and it was really quite nice. I think that if I were to buy it again, I would buy the shampoo and the hair mask and I would just skip the conditioner. And now we're gonna add in, I was looking to see if it had how many to apply. It just says apply evenly, damp or dry. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna apply quite a generous bit because my hair is long and it could use all the moisture. So that was just one dropper full. Let's see if that's enough. And I like to apply at the ends because that's where I need it the most. And then I kind of do it a little bit on the top and throughout the hair because I don't like too much volume on my hair so that's why I do put some oil on the top but if you have a finer hair you might not want to add it there so I'm gonna go ahead and add another one they do, it doesn't really dispense a ton of product so two really isn't that much it smells really lovely. Um, it's very, very light, not highly fragranted. And you can see some of my curls in there. If I really wanted, I would be a curly, curly mess. Lovely, beautiful, but just a little bit unmanageable. You see my natural curls. Okay, so let's hit it with a blow dryer. And I am gonna straighten my hair just in these little areas where I have colics because my hair just really wants to do whatever it wants to do. And sometimes it just needs to be controlled. And I'll just hit the top because I don't like a ton of volume up there and I have quite the wave of curl here. So I just like to get in this area before I throw a curl in. And the heat also makes my hair smoother and shinier. And I'm using my GHD hair straightener, which is the best. I absolutely love this. I've had this for like five or six years and you know, you really pay for what you get. I had Chi ones before and they would break like consistently all the time. Um, I love this one. Section my hair off. She does it in three, so we'll do that. I'm going to follow exactly how she gets her curl. She starts off with straight hair, so I'm also going to just do just the tops here. Curling iron is heated up using Hot Tools one. This is about an inch. I believe it's just an inch. Looks like an inch to me. And I don't have a wand, which she uses, so I'm going to just use a similar technique, but just with a curling iron. So she grabs like smaller sections of her hair and she starts at the top and she just wraps and she holds it for about five seconds. Oh, that's cute. Okay, let's do another one. That's kind of a lot of hair. I should have probably done a little bit smaller. And she also does them every other way which I forgot to do this time, but I will do it on the next one. Very pretty. Okay, so that one was away from the face and this one is going to go towards the face. Be careful not to burn your hand while you're holding it. Cause I've done that so many times. Do you guys remember the days when back in high school, I did this so many times. Okay, so it would be picture day, right? And I'd be, you know, I never practiced doing my hair. Like I would do it that day. And all of a sudden, boom, you burn it right at the top and you go to school with a big burn mark. These look really pretty and they're very shiny. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, not so great. Let's retry it. A different strand of hair. We'll go the other way. So maybe we'll go this way and then we'll bend it down. And if you have one of those gloves that you can 
is like a heat resistant glove you can use that as well um i have one but i figured not everyone has one so i didn't want to use it for this video okay look at that oh it's so pretty okay and then the last one we're gonna go away because the other one came towards me My hair feels really moisturized. I mean, I am, I'm pretty impressed. I didn't have high hopes because I figured, I don't know, celebrities endorse it. Not that she's, you know, an uber celebrity, but she's definitely very popular on social media. Okay, and then it's looking pretty good so far. Look how much shine there is. Okay, and then the last part on the top we will finish. And she basically does the same thing throughout. Let's find my part. I can never find my part. I have like an off-center part, not fully willing to embrace the middle part. I just don't think it looks that good on my face. Um, but not full side part. So we're going to do like off the middle, which... Brad Mondo said was really cute, so I'm sticking with what he said. And we're just gonna clean up the top a little bit. Start towards the back. This side's always easier to do because of the way that you're holding the curling iron or the wand. The other side I haven't quite mastered, but it's not looking too bad. Okay. Now, if you do want just like a little bit more hold, you could hold it at the top. Um, I think it's holding pretty well. My hair, my hair holds a curl pretty well because I think it's naturally curly. Um, so if yours doesn't, you could just hold it for, you know, five seconds to kind of secure it. But the trick is with curls is after you curl them, don't brush them out completely. Like you want them to curl or cool and set. Because if you brush them out, then they just disappear. Brush them out before you're going to wherever you're going. Okay. And then this one we will do away from the face. And I did see her do these front ones like a little bit lower. You don't want them to do them too top, too close to the top. Okay. That didn't give me too much of a curl. But it looks pretty good. This one we'll also do, I guess we could do it kind of close to the face, but we'll just do it front facing, but a little bit down so it's not completely in my face. Okay. So she also does this thing where she takes it and she just smooths her flyaways. Let's see how that works. It's a pretty good trade secret, to be honest. Okay, so now we have the full curl, and it's looking pretty, pretty, pretty good. And she does, like, let it sit, and then she'll loosen the curls just a little bit, running your fingers in them. Not too much. And I did add a little bit of oil. I think maybe next time I'll only do one scoop, one dropper full, um, maybe in a half instead of two because my hair is looking pretty shiny. It is dull like right around here. So I'll just do like a drop. I'll do two drops. And just clean this up a little bit. And just... Throw it back into the bottom. You can never have too much oil at the bottom of your hair. That's your oldest hair and it needs as much moisture as it can get. I'll throw some on the top because mine is quite dry. This is the look and it will fall a little bit. It's a little, that one's a little bit curly. But tell me, what do you guys think? I think it looks pretty good and pretty close to what her hair looks like. My final thoughts on this, I love the hair oil. I am so shocked that I like it because I'm such a Moroccan oil fan. 
Um, I even, you know, like the Olaplex oil. I think there's a time and a place for it, aka when you straighten your hair. No, it's not really that great for curls. Um, there's a high shine factor to it. This has a high shine factor as well, which is pretty. And in regards to the hair perfume, I don't love the way this smells. Um, it's There's a lot of scent of alcohol, powder, and flowery. It kind of smells like old lady-ish. And that's just not what I want to smell like. I don't know about this one, but this one I do love. Let me just give my hair the smell test. It doesn't, it doesn't really smell like anything. Like you definitely cannot smell the hair, the stuff that you used in it. It doesn't, it has great shine. And I guess maybe that's why they came out with the perfume is because the other stuff is not so heavily fragranted. Dare I try it? I feel like I'm going to regret this, but let me give it a little... We'll do it from afar. Oh. Okay, two sprays is definitely enough. Oh, I can taste it. So, buying this all together, sure. Buying this alone, I don't think so. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you thought of my curls. And did I, did I nail Nejin's hair? I don't know, but came out pretty close and I love it. Thanks for hanging out with me guys. I will catch you soon. Hopefully I will have another hair care update for you using another brand.